we are asked to consider the following reaction and its equilibrium constant. And then it tells us that in that reaction we have a mixture which contains a concentration of the NO2 and a concentration of the N2O4. But it wants us to calculate Q sub C and then determine the direction in which the reaction will proceed. So if you recall, Q sub C is calculated the same way as K sub C. So Q sub C is going to equal to the products, so the concentration of the products, I've got a 2 in front, so that becomes a squared over the concentration of N2O4. And it's not raised to anything because there's no coefficient. So now I just need to plug in what I know, so it tells me this is 0 0.0255, and I'm going to square that, and then I've got point 0331, and it's not raised to anything. And I'm going to do that on my calculator, and I just got 0 0.019645. Now I need to think about significant figures again. So remember, there were three in the first number, there's three in the KC, and there's also three in the other concentration. So I come to the six, I look to the right, it's less than five, so I'm going to leave that six alone. So Q sub C is going to equal to 1.96 times 10 to the minus 2. Now well, that's great, so that's half the problem, but how am I going to figure out which way it's going to proceed? Well I need to compare Q sub C with K sub C. So my value for Q sub C we just said is 1.96 times 10 to the minus 2. And K sub C, that was given to us originally at 5.85 times 10 to the minus third. Now which one is bigger? Well, minus 2 is larger than minus 3. And based on the rules that we've learned or in your textbook, if Q sub C is greater than K sub C, it's going to proceed to the left. So your pieces of information are this box up here, and then it's going to proceed to the left.